What's up, everybody? How are we doing? It's so good to be with you here uh, at LifeGate Kids. And we're gonna just jump right into it. So everybody jump up on your feet and we're gonna praise God right away. We're gonna jump into a worship song. The praise be a weapon, the silence is the enemy. The praise be a weapon that conquers all anxiety. Let it rise, let praise arise. We sing your name in the dark and it changes everything. We sing with all we are and claim your victory. Let it rise, let praise arise. We'll see you break down every wall. We'll watch the giants fall. For fear cannot survive when we praise you. The God of breakthroughs on our side. Forever lift him high. With all creation cry, God, we praise you. Oh, we praise you. Oh, let faith be the song that overcomes the raging sea. Let faith be the song that calms the storm inside of me. Let it rise. Down every wall, we'll watch the giants fall. For fear cannot survive when we praise you. The God of breakthroughs on our side, forever lift him high. With all creation, cry, God, we praise you. Whoa. This is what living looks like. This is what freedom feels like. This is what heaven sounds like. We praise you, we praise you. This is what living looks like. This is what freedom feels like. This is what heaven sounds like. We praise you, we praise you. This is what living looks like. This is what freedom feels like. This is what heaven sounds like. We praise you, we praise. We'll see you break down every wall. We'll watch the giants fall. For fear cannot survive when we praise you. The God of breakthroughs on our side. Forever lift him high. With all creation cry, God, we praise you. Whoa. I gotta let it out. I can't hold back my praise. I gotta let it out. I can't hold back my praise. I gotta let it out. I can't hold back my praise. I gotta let it out. I can't hold back my praise. I gotta let it out. I can't hold back my praise. This is what living looks like. This is what freedom feels like. This is what heaven sounds like. We praise you, we praise. We'll see you break down every wall. We'll watch the giants fall. For fear cannot survive when we praise you. The God of breakthroughs on our side. Forever lift him up. With all creation cry, God, we praise you.
We are on part three of our four-part series in the month of February. And last week we saw uh, somebody try and get an Oreo from their forehead down to their mouth. And then the week before that, we saw a lot of different challenges happen. The first week, we did a lot of hard, long challenges that tested our patience. Now, if you didn't get a chance to see those, go check out our LifeGate Kids YouTube channel, and those videos are on there. How many of you have heard the TV show called Price is Right? It's an older show, so you probably should ask your parents to know what that show's about. But basically what happens is, you order things from least expensive to the most expensive. And so we have some items that are gonna show up on your screen and you're gonna tell your parents or anybody else who's around what is the most expensive, what costs the most, or what is the least expensive. So as you see the images, um, go through that. So we have a candy bar, a book, hot chocolate, and a pencil. We also have a gallon of milk, a doll, crayons. We also have pizza, hamburger, a truck, and toothbrush and toothpaste. Here are the answers from least expensive to most expensive. Pencil, crayon, candy bar, toothbrush and toothpaste, hot cocoa, milk, hamburger, book, doll, pizza, now we're getting really expensive. And lastly, a truck. The truck is the most expensive. Today we're gonna to hear about someone who paid a lot for something. Let's check it out. Hey guys. Hey Kellen. What's up today, Kellen? Well, today we're looking at something that happened in the very first book of the Bible. That's right, Genesis. Specifically, Genesis chapter 25. This is the story of two twin brothers, Jacob and Esau. It wasn't my fault. Jacob tricked me. Um, what's going on? You can't prove anything, Esau. Yes, I can, Tricky McTricker face. That's not my name. It should be. Okay, okay, slow down. I think we might need some kind of judge to handle this. You have just stepped into the courtroom of Judge Trudy. The cases are biblical. The people are historical. The courtroom is not real at all. This is Judge Trudy. Just to be clear, this courtroom did not appear in the Bible. Oh, I'll take it from here, Kellen. So, Esau says here in your case file that you were born first. So you got your family's rights and inheritance. Is that correct? That's correct. I was born first. It is my birthright. Mine. Hmm. Well, a birthright is a really big deal. It means you'll get more of your father's wealth and property, and that you'll become leader of the family. Yeah, that's right. But Jacob, you stole the birthright from your older brother, correct? No, I did not steal it. He sold it to me, fair and square. The, the trickster, at it again. You were the one who made the trade. Order. I need to know the real story. Bailiff. Roll the security footage. Jacob, quick, I'm insanely hungry. Feed me some of that stew. Sure, but first you have to sell me your birthright. Look, I'm dying of hunger. What good are those rights to me now? Promise me, promise me you'll sell me your rights. Fine, I can't wait any longer. I promise to give you my birthright. Wait, Esau, did you not even value your birthright? I was hungry. Oh, but you didn't have one bit of patience. You could have waited and eaten something else later. Let me ask you something. Was the stew worth it? It was okay. Mm, mm, mm. Taste less, but for a moment. But your birthright would have affected generations. It seems to me, Esau, that your complaint against your brother is your own fault. I cannot rule in your favor. You made your choice. Court is adjourned. This has been Judge Trudy. Even though there's no way that was the real Jacob and Esau, Judge Trudy summed it up well. Esau did not value his rights as the firstborn son. Being impatient made him sell something that was worth more than we can imagine. 
for the price of one little bowl of stew. Bummer. Seriously. You know, being impatient can actually cost you. Totally. When we're not patient, we rush in without thinking about the consequences. Oh, I know. I bent my tongue. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, me too. I think we can avoid a lot of problems if we just pause and think before we act. There's a lot we can miss out on when we're not willing to wait. It's good to hear. Thanks, Kellen. Yeah, thanks. You got it. I'll see you guys next time. Have you guys ever played the relay race where you put an Oreo on the spoon and you had to run somewhere and come back? The key to it is to be very patient because we can get impatient really easy and start to go really fast. But the key is to be patient. It's kind of like our story today. Esau got really impatient. He got so impatient that it cost him and he lost everything. Sometimes we get impatient and it costs us too, like missing out on screen time privileges or you hurt a friend and they don't wanna see you because you hurt them so bad. The next time you have to wait for something you really want, take a second to think, will this cost me a lot? Should I just be patient in this situation? Remember our bottom line, if you don't wait, it will cost you. It takes a lot of trust to wait for something. You have to trust God and believe that his timing is perfect, even if you don't understand it. We wanna ask God with different areas that we need help in our life. And we're gonna transition into the song where you can do that and praise God and also ask him for help. You never turn away, you never leave my side. And every time I call your name out just to find that you're already right here with me, never been alone. I can trust you with my heart, cause this I know. You are always faithful, you love me from the start. No matter what I'm facing, I will trust you with my heart. Trust you with my heart. There are days when I feel I need a friend. And then I hear your voice reminding me again that you're already right here with me. Never been alone. I can trust you with my heart. Cause this I know. You are always faithful. You love me from the start. Trust you with my heart. You are more than able to lead me through the dark. Your love is never failing. I will trust you with my heart. Whoa, whoa, I will trust you with my heart. No matter what may come, no matter what I go through, God, you are never gonna fail me. I will trust you with my heart. No matter what may come, no matter what I go through, God, you are never gonna fail me. I will trust you with my heart. You are always faithful. You love me from the start. No matter what I'm facing, I will trust you with my heart. You are more than able to lead me through the dark. Your love is never failing. I will trust you with my heart. you with my heart as we close out today remember to go to facebook and instagram to get all the updates on lifegate kids and to get those activity pages but i'm gonna pray for us now father we just pray uh, for your help there's so many times where we get impatient and we just need your help in those situations so we ask for your help right now um, to not be impatient like esau was in our story today uh, but to trust you fully and wholeheartedly it's in your name we pray amen